Hi guys, this is Sandy Pride, too old for gaming, and today I'm playing Dead or Alive 5 Plus on my Vita. So this is a well, you probably know a little bit about the game, I assume. This is a fighting game, if you don't, if you're not aware. This is a one-on-one -on -one kind of fighter brawler like Tekken, really. I'm a I'm a big fan of Tekken, and it's, I've always found it quite disappointing that we never got a Tekken game on the Vita. We had two on the PSP. But uh, we never got one on the on the Vita, which was really disappointing. We had Street Fighter vs Tekken, but you know that for me wasn't really the same. That was a Street Fighter game, and as much as I love Street Fighter, I always kind of wanted a, a Tekken game as well. But um, I only really played this a little while ago, probably just a few months, and realised that actually this is the, the game I always kind of wanted in terms of a, a Tekken type game on the, on the Vita. Let me just uh, kind of also say at this point, I'm really bad at this game. I've, uh, I've completed the story mode, but I'm I'm terrible. But I still really enjoy it. It's, you know, I always, I'm a little bit button mashy when it comes to the gameplay, but uh, it's a really good game. Um, in terms of the graphics, you can you can see from the screen, actually it's really impressive. For the for the Vita, it's it actually runs so smoothly. Uh, the gameplay looks amazing, sound is really good. It's, uh, you know, very impressive. Uh, I wasn't expecting kind of this, uh, this sort of level of game actually when I first uh, first put it in the system, but it's it's excellent in terms of gameplay. Like I said, uh, it's really smooth. Like I don't think the the video really does it justice in terms of how how smooth the gameplay is and how well it runs on the Vita. So um, like I said, there's uh, there's lots of different modes here. So kind of like a like a kind of fighter, a lot of fighters. You've got the traditional sort of uh, arcade mode, you've got versus, you've got training, you've got survival, um, and you've got a uh, long story mode. So I'll, I'll take a look at, let you guys take a look at that in a minute. But uh, it's actually probably took me a good like four or five hours, which was is pretty good for a story mode. Um, and you you get to kind of play. It's I think it's 71 different battles, something or 70 something different battles, uh, and it really kind of takes you and you get to try all the different characters as you play through this story. It's probably even longer than four hours actually. I'm, I'm, it actually it felt very long, maybe maybe a little bit too long actually, because uh, as someone who hasn't played the previous Dead or Alive games, I really got lost in terms of the story. Uh, I think they do refer to past events and you know character relationships a lot, and I just was not familiar with any of that, and so it really kind of lost me in some of these uh, some of these cases where I didn't just didn't really care. Uh, it, I didn't think it was a particularly well-told story either, but you know it's fine. I think the it was actually good to do the story just because you actually get to get to try all the different characters, which is always quite a useful thing when it comes to a kind of a story mode in a, in a game like this. Oh, lost that one. So um, you've got around. Let me let me check. You can see we'll see how many uh, characters we got because I don't think I actually actually counted it at any point. Let's go back to the character select screen. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So about uh, more than twenty characters. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty good kind of roster. Pretty varied as well in terms of the fighters. Again, like uh, like Tekken, you know, you've got kind of a range of fighters from sort of the sort of middle of the road. You've got actually this guy Brad Wong is uh, is a lot like. Uh, that sort of Jackie Chan character you've got on Tekken. I've completely forgotten, blanked on names. You've got kind of usual wrestler type characters as well. There's a there's a nice range of, uh, of characters to play as actually, gotta say. There's a lot of uh, DLC you can buy for this game as well. I haven't bought any. Um, I'm just kind of playing playing the base game. But there's a, there's a lot of DLC, there's different stages uh, you can choose obviously, which are all sort of uh, based, which you'll visit during your uh, your time on the on the story mode as well. But if you want to want to buy different characters, they've got lots of kind of skimpy, skimpy different outfits for this the for the girls. Well. If you want to buy those. Get ready, the story mode is a is a good chance to kind of practice some of these guys. I am getting completely destroyed. Wow, okay, that was uh, not a good performance. It's uh, one other thing this game uh, uh, 
is uh, is really good to have is uh, crossplay with PS3. So the PS3 version of this game, you can actually play online with uh, with people who have that. I did go online before I started uh, recording just to check if anyone is there, if I could uh, show you an online match, but uh, there was no one there unfortunately, which not uh, not too surprising given uh, given how old this game is. Yeah, he beat me pretty quick that time. So let me show you guys what the uh, what the story mode is like, or at least kind of maybe I'll just jump into one of the scenes or so, and you can uh, you can check that out. <clears throat> so these are all the different uh, modes. Uh, actually, after I show you story mode, I'll show you touch fight as well. So when we go to display timeline, this is the full story mode. So you can see it's kind of got all the different events and characters you'll be playing as through the story and you can go to the cutscenes and you can start again anywhere you want. Um, so it's a lot, there's a there's a lot here. It was much, much longer than I thought it would be. I did wish at kind of points that actually, could this just speed up? I kind of wanted to, wanted to just kind of get on with the game. It didn't, you know, because I didn't, because the story didn't really grab me. I think I wasn't, uh, I think I did find it a little bit, uh, a little bit too long. But for each of these scenes, you've got a story, you've got a little cut. So for each uh, uh, level in that story mode, you've got a little cutscene as well, introducing the different characters and obviously what they're trying to do and their motivations. Hey. Mm -hmm. Here. But like I said, it wasn't, uh, it didn't really work. For me, it did, you know, just because I wasn't really familiar with a lot of these characters, and some of the jokes fell fell flat, I think as well. For. Load times are not too bad. It's uh, it actually loads pretty fast. Like I said, it's actually just very impressive as a as a game on the Vita. Story mode is not too hard either, so I mean, you saw I got completely destroyed when I played versus mode, but um, I did manage to finish story mode. Um, I did set the fights to unlimited time and uh, and just one round, which uh, which made it easier, of course. But uh, you know, it's definitely easier playing on uh, on story mode than it was on versus. So what I want to show you guys as well, if I can uh, exit this, yeah, there we go. Um, is the uh, the kind of first person mode, which I think it got a lot of criticism. Or well, I saw in reviews it got criticism. It's called Touch Fight, where you actually use this touch screen to uh, to fight kind of first person battles. Uh, I actually found it really good. I, I quite enjoyed it. I was again, I'm not very good at it. It was very much uh, uh, button mashy in terms of my approach to to fighting, but I thought it was pretty good. So let's choose a level. So you've got, like you see on this screen here, you can use uh, different moves to uh, to try and uh, attack your opponent. So tap, flick up, flick down, two fingers, different things to try and uh, try and attack, basically. So you can see I'm doing different moves. Than Yep, there you go, did a little throw. But yeah, I actually find this mode quite fun. It's a little bit silly and, uh, you know, it's not, it's not, it doesn't feel very technical because, you know, I don't feel like there's much control in terms of what I'm doing at times. But uh, I think it's pretty good. It's a little distraction, at least, from the kind of story mode or anything that, uh, if that's something you're interested in. Hey, I managed to beat them as well. Cool. Well, look guys, that's uh, Dead or Alive 5 Plus on the Vita. Like I said, really impressive in terms of graphics, performance, gameplay is awesome. If you like Tekken, uh, then, you know, this is this is a really great game. It's, uh, you know, the story mode is not great in terms of the story, but it's really long and it's a good introduction to all of the characters. 
So I do recommend this game. It's a lot of fun. Uh, if you can grab it physically as well, that's probably uh, probably better than trying to trying to buy it digitally because it is pretty expensive. But I definitely recommend this game. It's uh, it's a great game. I was very caught off guard and really surprised about how much I, I really enjoyed it. Guys, well, thank you very much for watching. Please uh, let me know in the comments if you've played Dead or Alive 5 Plus. Let me know what you think about it. And um, if you're watching and you haven't subscribed to my channel, give it a subscribe if you're uh, interested in more Vita videos. Excellent. Well, thank you guys for watching.